Large language models used to be all about raw performance and having the largest model. And it's not that surprising because it's in the name. They're called LLMs or large language models. But over the past few months, at least in the end of 2024, we've started to see a massive movement of SLMs or small language models, models that compress the performance and efficiency of large models and do it at fractions of the size. So basically taking performance that we would have only expected from models exceeding 70 or 120 billion parameters and doing it in models that have less than 14 billion parameters. Transformer models have gotten much better at this. We've seen really interesting advancements from startups like Liquid, but Liquid obviously fell short in terms of realistic real-world performance. And what I want to talk about today is a really interesting development in the Mamba or kind of hybrid Mamba ecosystem. The massive advancement we're looking at today is from Zifra, and their previous work was bringing us Zamba, which is a hybrid Mamba model that poses some really interesting performance attributes. And the reason their latest release, Zamba 2 7B, is so impressive is that it beats Llama 3 1 8B, Gemma, and Mistral 7B, and Mamba 2 in basically all areas of performance. And specifically, the architectural changes result in some really interesting performance attributes that lead me to believe that they're not just juicing benchmarks like we've seen some other startups try to do with new novel model architectures. So I want to get into where you can use this right now, what this means in terms of advancements in both transformers and Mamba architectures, and break down why this model is so interesting. So welcome to AI Flux, let's get into it. So first off, I want to get into what Zifra is. So Zifra or Zifra is a company that's actually working on something much bigger than just singular models. They're building what they're calling Maya OS, which is a multimodal agentic system combining advanced research in next-gen neural network architectures, specifically SSM hybrids, which is what Zamba is, specifically intended for long-term memory and reinforcement learning. They wrap AGI into some of this, and it's pretty interesting. And what's cool is they have offices in Palo Alto, uh, Montreal, and London. So that's what Zyphra is. And what we're talking about today is Zamba 2 7B. And the way that they describe this is that they're excited to release Zamba 2 7B, a state-of-the-art small language model, or SLM, at the 7 billion parameter scale, which they say outperforms the leading models of Mistral, Google Gemma, Meta's Llama 3 series in both quality and performance. And we'll see later also in efficiency. They say, we believe Zamba 2 7B is the leading model for running on-device and consumer GPUs, as well as for many enterprise applications, which require a powerful but compact and efficient model for neural language tasks. And that's basically sort of an occluded way of saying for agentic tasks, because a smaller model you can run more instances of on a single GPU, and if you're leveraging more performance and efficiency, agentic wins are pretty big. So what are the highlights here? So basically they're saying that Zamba 27B achieves state-of-the-art evaluation on benchmark performance, specifically with superior inference efficiency and latency compared to other leading 7B models, specifically Mistral 7B and Llama 3 8B. And they mention the inference efficiency again here, basically saying that it achieves 25% faster time to first token, a 20% improvement in tokens per second, so just raw throughput, and a significant reduction in memory usage compared to models such as Llama 3 8B, which again means you can run more instances of this on a single GPU. What's also interesting is there's some pretty big architectural improvements. So Zamba 2 is quite different in terms of what Mamba looks like. So they've replaced Mamba 1 blocks with Mamba 2 blocks, and instead of using a single shared attention block or attention head, they utilize two shared attention blocks, which are interleaved in an ABAB pattern, throughout the network. So basically it means that uh, it can aim its focus in multiple places and not have to rely on a single attention head kind of looking around for where it wants to go. And then they say we apply a LoRa projector to each shared MLP block, which allows the network to specialize the MLPs at each invocation of the shared layer. It's also completely open source, which is really cool. Now what's interesting is when we look at a visual comparison of other models, they highlight here this best performance speed ratio and obviously Zamba 2 is way up here. And this isn't necessarily surprising because of how Mamba works. Compute scaling is generally always better with Mamba. And there's still a number of things that transformers are better at, but it's curious to see how quickly this architecture is getting better. And it's also important to mention that a lot of these benchmarks operate at a pretty low input sequence length. So these are great for tasks that don't really require a huge context window. So maybe not coding, but for a number of other tasks, it's really pretty interesting. Now the evals are kind of surprising. So I will say, 
The performance wins here are within margin of error in a number of benchmarks. There are others like MMLU where there's a much greater uh, edge. But then again, MMLU has recently kind of been shown to be one of the easier models to kind of engineer better scores with. So of course, any improvements in performance, specifically efficiency, are great. But what's interesting is evals are pretty bad at showing that. They're a great kind of general look. But in terms of niche capabilities or architectural capabilities, they don't really show us that very well. Another thing they talk about is, a, is quite a bit of token pre-training, which is now a pretty popular technique to improve performance, along with a separate annealing pre-training phase, which they say rapidly reduces the learning rate over 100 billion high-quality tokens. So again, they're going for quality here, and the use of pre-training is something that I think is going to stay for quite some time. What's cool here is they actually give us a pretty great example or a visual rep representation of what the Zamba hybrid SSM attention architecture looks like. So effectively, it's a number of layers that are based on Mamba 2, strung together in a way that gives enough efficiency, but also high quality outputs when you're using this and compare it to transformer architectures. So as someone who's worked with these models at scale, I can tell you that inference performance is such a big deal because this is actually where data centers make money and it's where apps generally make their money. Inference performance and capability directly maps to end user experience and what your rough costs are. And Mamba 2 is clearly aiming at optimizing for this. So why is Zamba 27B so efficient? They basically just say that Mamba 2 blocks are inherently efficient and have roughly four times the throughput of an equal parameter transformer block which is pretty cool. The Mamba blocks have small hidden states to store and don't require a KV cache. So we need to store KV states for the invocations of the shared attention block. And what's cool is the guys who are building Cursor mention this quite a bit. That's where a lot of their internal optimization is going on with Cursor. And they say they choose model sizings that are very amenable to parallelization on modern hardware. So basically multiple streaming multiprocessors on GPUs or multi-cores on CPUs. Again, with the idea being that this model will be a better choice for agentic tasks if you have a limited number of GPUs to work with. Or if you have a set number of GPUs, you can do more with this model than you could with say an agentic flow using Llama 3 8B. And pre-training and annealing really shine when you look at how much time it actually took to create this model. So Zama 2 7B was trained on 128 H100 GPUs. So more than I could ever afford, but frankly, that's not a really ridiculous number for approximately 50 days using their internal training framework developed on top of Megatron LM. Zama 2, as a result, demonstrates that the 7B scale, uh, even at the frontier, is still reachable and surpassable with a pretty small team. And I would bet that the reason they have a presence in Montreal is power is actually really inexpensive in Montreal due to a lot of hydro development there. And if you go and look on Vast AI, there are actually a ton of people who host in Montreal because they have good internet and really cheap electricity. Not to mention it's so far north that you basically have zero cost cooling a data center in the wintertime. And again, Zamba 2 7B is entirely open source and you can use it both on Hugging Face or with their internal tool. And I'll link both of those below. So let's actually try out this model and see what we can get. So I'm going to select Zamba 2 7B. There's also a really interesting model that's even smaller called Zamba 2 2.7B. So what I'm going to say first is I need to schedule a flight from New York to Montreal, which location, it's a sort of an open-ended question here, but let's see what it gives us. And what's also cool is the weights for this are also currently available and there is both an instruct and a base model you can use. So what's interesting with this model is it doesn't overcompensate or try too hard to answer things that are vague. What's interesting with mom models generally is they understand when to not overpromise or overprovide tokens, um, at least in terms of output. So you can give them a lot of input and they can reason about what's actually important, in my opinion, better than a lot of transformer models. Like if this was Llama 3 8B instruct, I would expect to be getting a huge list of how to book a flight. And here it says, to ensure getting a flight from New York to Montreal, it's best to book your flight from New York first because that's where you're going from. This will give you the most options and flexibility in terms of departure and arrival times. So now I wanna ask something a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to refresh this. How should I select, select the farm I purchase almonds from in order to create the almond butter? So let's see if it'll give us a list. The base model is obviously quite different from the instruct version. So what's cool is we're actually able to get effectively instruct level output from what 
I'm pretty sure is the base model. There might just be a selection criteria here on Zyphra's um, own kind of inference stack here, but let's see what we get. And I would bet this is on a shared GPU because I've run this locally and it's been significantly faster. But I do like the ability for Zamba models to kind of reason a, throughout a task and not just kind of give a static answer. And although they can't do certain things that transformer models can do, it's interesting how thoughtful and generally concise the answers are from Zamba, especially Zamba 2. So this gave us a pretty good set of instructions here. Now, before we go, I do want to try at least one coding problem. So I'm going to say I need a Rust application that will ingest a order ID, current time, and packer name to create a UID that corresponds to this information presented in a QR code. So a real world application, you're not really supposed to use a UID for this, that that's more something that you would hash or create like a custom encoding scheme for. So what I wanna see here is if this understands kind of how to simplify the problem, maybe ask me what I want and then understand what to do. Uh, along with kind of the boilerplate bits necessary for creating Rust code, which is less common than what most of the training data likely is. So it understands to make a cargo TOML, which is what you do, uh, and now it's actually writing Rust code. Now obviously this inference interface is kind of limited, so we're not gonna get great code highlighting, but this does look pretty good so far. The, uh, the function is pretty general, so like it's assuming all this is hard-coded, it would have been interesting if it had actually asked us that, but I'm going to ask one follow-up and then see what we get. Uh, what is cool is it understands to use cups, which is a print server. And let me see. Uh, so this is what it gave us. It's okay, but not necessarily the most impressive coding I've seen. Now let me say, uh, this looks good, but I'd like a generalized function, just as you would if you were using this in like an agentic kind of a coding flow. And it's gonna be really interesting to see if this shows up on MLX sooner than later. Because uh, sometimes these Zamba models are really impressive even when they're not actually running on NVIDIA GPUs or just kind of common GPUs you would use for this. So it's giving us another data format here. And yeah, it did understand what we wanted. So now it's taking actual inputs. It's saving the bytes as a PNG image, which is how we would print it. And let's see here, great. So it gave us an actual function and then called it with main, which is, okay, so that was for test code, interesting. It's telling us with some nice comments what's actually going on. And this is actually pretty impressive. So I'm actually pretty impressed. It's not the fastest model. I wanna run it locally on a 4090 just to see what performance there looks like. But yeah, I think since agentic workflows are becoming more and more common, especially even in potential future features of Cursor and other kind of tools like that, um, models like this are going to start to make a lot more sense. Um, SLMs used to be kind of an interesting toy kind of a problem to solve, just to show how small you could make a larger uh, architecture or, or a larger model that happened to fit on a much smaller GPU. But um, what's cool with these is it means that if you have a lesser it means that if you have a smaller or a less powerful GPU, maybe an older, more affordable GPU, that you can actually run this stuff. And it really starts to open up the edge implications. And in my opinion, the most exciting, which are agentic applications using the same GPUs. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, some of you have probably heard of Zamba before. Maybe some of you maybe haven't. Um, are you going to plan to use this over Llama 318B or Mistral 7B? For me, one of my favorite models is still the Mistral model, so I'm not sure that I'll be doing that, but a really impressive release nonetheless, and some really cool stuff making the training time a little bit faster and creating models that are intended for pretty different things than just our standard models that we see from Mistral and Meta. So as always, I hope you guys learned something. If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you in the next one.